COVID-19, policy blunders and a series of scandals have set the scene for a crucial election test in South Korea. The vote for mayor in the country's two biggest cities are seen as a litmus test for next year's presidential election. If exit polls are correct, President Moon Jae-in and his party are facing their biggest defeat in five years. Lim Yun suk reports. The by-elections to South Korea's two largest cities, Seoul and Busan, came as the country woke up to the news that the number of new COVID-19 cases has spiked to its highest in nearly three months. Here in Seoul, it was a two-way race between former startups minister Park yong son from the ruling Democratic Party and Oh Se-hoon, the only opposition candidate in this race. He is running again for the office he gave up 10 years ago. Voters in Seoul said they wanted a new mayor who would tackle issues concerning their livelihoods, like surging housing issues. And in the second largest city, Busan, candidates from both parties are fighting for the mayor's office, which has remained vacant since last year, when then-Mayor Oh go Don resigned amid allegations of sexual assault. Experts say the results will be the bellwether for next year's presidential election. This election is seen as a referendum of public confidence on President Moon Jae-in's leadership, with less than one year left in office. Latest polls released last Friday shows President Moon Jae-in's approval rating dropped for the third consecutive week, reaching an all-time low of 32 percent, mainly due to several unpopular housing policies his administration has introduced in the last four years and its handling of the COVID-19 pandemic and the vaccination policies to curb the virus. On Wednesday, South Korea reported 668 new COVID-19 cases, the highest in nearly three months. Health authorities warned of a possible fourth wave of infections, saying the daily tally could spike to a thousand or more unless the government tightens restrictions further. Recent infections were linked to social gatherings in workplaces, with a rising number of people coming out of their homes to enjoy the spring season. The government says it is keeping a close eye on the situation and will be announcing revised social distancing measures on Friday. Lim Yang-suk, CNA, Seoul.